Streamer, do this IRL. Streamer, do this IRL. Streamer, do this IRL. I would like to apologize in advance to uh, to everybody. I really hope we lose this match. Watching on YouTube. Welcome to uh, episode two, day two, episode three, four. I don't know. I, I lost track at this point. We're putting Leyline Scion into every deck. We're also putting it into Asmo. Um, what does Leyline Scion offer this deck? Not a ton. I mean, I will say that Leyline is kind of cool with Urza Saga because it allows Urza Saga to make colored mana, which normally is, you can't do that, right? Uh, which helps you cast Finale a little bit earlier. But I mean, other than that, it offers you a plan B. Uh, if you have Leyline Scion, to Urza Saga tokens with all of those keywords are extremely powerful gives you another spot removal spell in the form of Leyline Binding, and um, you can discard extra copies of Leyline to either Cookbook, Inti, or Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Uh, other than that, not a ton of synergy. Cyborg, pretty similar to, you know, your, I guess, traditional Asmo decks, but uh, let's see how this goes. Looks interesting. Let's do it. All right, I'll play first. Asmo, Leyline, Scion. So... This hand is good, I think. We go Salt Eye Trium on one, probably Saga Shadow Spear on two. Leyline is kind of the 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 perfect example of a bat chess card. Although we don't have Leyline in the opener. So, skill issue. Mm. This would have been a lot better if I had my own Leyline. Not great. Not the best. Shout out to the chatter who wanted me to play four of these. Snow Covered Plains, what the? Is this the Spike deck? Was Spike playing basic planes? I can't remember. Uh, I think I f***ed this game up. I was probably supposed to Binding last turn and not play Saga, because now I kind of have to Binding, right? Yeah, I think I was supposed to do this last turn instead of playing Saga. Kill the Leyline, because now I'm just losing out on a Construct token. Could be Enchantress, yeah. Maybe it doesn't end up being that bad. Because next turn I just float mana. If I had a drum, I could go float mana, get drum, play fable, play binding. Okay, yeah, minus four. I know, but like I said, you know, I said it in the deck tech. The point is that if you draw extra ley lines, you can discard those to cookbooks. I was mostly just memeing when I, you know, when I said that. Or when I just said that now. I don't know, did we just make a construct? Do I have another Sacred Foundry? I don't. So I can't fetch an untapped white source if I make a construct. Okay, in that case, I'm just gonna float mana. What am I getting? Cookbook? Get cookbook. Rack for a basic, play Fable, hold up binding. No reason to binding now. Kinda just chill for a little bit. I find it funny that Winsup Teeth cannot get Grixis Trium. So they can't they can't even cast Biting here, right? Well, they can get like untapped steam vents, I guess, to cast binding. But th this cannot get Grixis. Okay. Black white. Orcish Bowmasters. Oh right, this can also can't get steam vents, yeah, so they just can't cast binding that turn. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, this thing get this this Winsup Teeth can't fetch anything. Anything relevant if you're playing Portico. Three mana. What the... What is going on? What? All right, let him cook. What are they cooking over there? What the hell? Is this a Yawgmoth? Who let bro cook? Oh, it has Hexproof. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm not killing that, huh? It sure does have Hexproof. That is, that is a keyword that it has, yep. Yeah. That is definitely one of the keywords that it has. Sure. All right. I mean, let them, they're cooking all right. Let them cook. We looked last night for expensive Eldrazi's that you could Evolution Scion into, and I could not find anything. They were all basically unplayable. I think this is when you know science has gone too far. All right, Asmo would be a sick draw. That's actually not bad. Ooh, I found more synergies. Scion triggers Oval Chase Daredevil. Why even Needle here? Just like some random fetch land? 
but they've gone through one windswept teeth I'm trying to think of what other they probably have four misties right because misty actually gets both portico and grixis i could have just saved the misty i didn't need to play the needle just like scion get back both both daredevils pass The other line was like, send in the Shaman to also cast the Fable, or just play Fable and don't attack with Shaman, which maybe that was better. Yeah, there's not a lot of 14 mana cards. Is, okay, let me let me ask, is the one 14 mana card Blink Moth Infusion? That card is uh, not great. Isn't it like 10 blue, 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 untap all artifacts or something? That card is horrendous. <laughs> it is so bad. Getting back Scion, it's kind of rude. Okay, now I can't kill on death. Yeah, 12 UU. God, that card's terrible. They don't even need the lane line. Uh, all right, I'll take it, I guess. Really have to find the Nasmo this turn. Asmo, please. Not quite. What is my plan here? I mean, I can equip Draco. What, equip Draco pass, maybe? I kind of want to play Fable this turn, just so I can... I need to dig for an Asmo next turn. Let's just go Fable Pass. What's cool about Fable Pass is I have two 2-2 two, two First Strikers. So if they attack with Omnath, I can trade for both Fable tokens, since we both have First Strike. And then we could trade Scions, untap, play Second Scion. And that's kind of not that bad of a spot. But this gets me much closer to the uh, the, the Asmo next turn. And once we once we find the Asmo, we're chilling. Okay, should have named Windswept Teeth. Punted. They have nothing to do with the mana? I mean, I'm blocking. If they have a removal spell, so be it. I'm, I'm blocking here. Blightsteel Colossus? Nah, there's gotta be something better. Although, Blightsteel Colossus with Hexproof is kinda nice. What are they What are they casting in combat here? You got four mana. Solitude? I guess that makes sense. All right, touche. Oh, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> wow, that's horrendous. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> was, that, was that a good turn for our opponent? It's not bad. I think it was acceptable. Okay, Asmo me. Asmo me, please. Asmo me. Okay, Asmo located. So we play Scion first to get back the Daredevils. How much was Scion? What do you mean? In terms of mana? It, it only costs two right now. So we have to do it this way. I should make a food first. Just so they can't respond. Like, they can respond to me making a food token and blow up the Asmo. So I should make a food token now. Shadow Spear to get our own Hexproof. I don't need to. I just kill the Scion first. I just kill the Scion, then kill the Omnath. They're not playing counter spells, are they? All right, kill Scion. I guess they could kill the Asmo in response to be killing the Scion. Oh. Uh, that is kind of sketchy. Well, the issue is, if I kill Draco again, how am I unlocking the Asthma from the Tidebinder? I think I might have to just kill the Tidebinder, right? Because if I kill the Scion again, then I don't have an Asmo anymore. I think I have to kill the Tidebinder. Oh, the Tidebinder has Hexproof, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't kill Tidebinder. All right, well, I guess I have to do this then. That sucks. I guess we can draw another Asmo. What a weird game. I mean, I guess that's fine, because now the Scion can trade for the Omnath. What a weird game. Their deck is uh, interesting, to say the least. No, Asmo loses first strike because of Tidebinder. Is that, I think that's how it should work, right? It's like a layers thing, where Scion gives the Asmo abilities, but then this was played after the Scion. I think that's how, I think it's how it should work. So if I play Scion, does my Asmo get abilities again? I think so. <laughs> We're going to find out. There's, on there's only one way to find out. <laughs> I just want to see what happens. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Now what? They're at 23. I mean, I could just chill, right? Put up Scion. I kind of want to just chill. End step, make three fables. Untap, make three Scions. Is that lethal? It's 21. Make five. Yeah, but it's not lethal, right? It's only 20. That's still probably fine, though. I'm just going to pass. They can also gain some life with the, the Misty. Yeah, they're effectively at 26. We can make a bunch of Scions next turn, though. Still be original. The original... 
Oh, right. They can't use Misty. I forgot. <laughs> we have Misty Needled. They can use Flooded Strand, though. I forgot that we needled Misty. That's funny. What are they trying to cast? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. But they don't have the Scion, so this doesn't really do anything. Right. Okay, copy here. Copy here. Copy here. Actually, should this last one just become a Scion? If I'm going to make a Scion on my turn, then what's the... You know what I mean? There's no reason not to just do this here, I think. I think this makes sense. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's good. Was that was that good? All right, I'll make green. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, copy. <laughs> what is this? What is this abomination that is occurring? Chad, has science gone too far? I think I think science may have gone too far. Show text on Scion. Scions have definitely gone too far. But 27, by the way. We got, there's always more decks. You know, that that's the one thing about Modern right now. There's always more decks to put Leyline Scion into. Until we've put them into literally everything. Then there's no more decks, but, you know. Timeless Scion would be nice. All right, what are we, what are they playing? They're just playing, like, Leyline Scion five-color nonsense. I don't even want against them. I mean, I want Pick Your Poison. They're doing Leyline stuff, so I want that card. Um, what are we cutting? I don't want to cut anything. Needle can probably go. Needle's whatever against them. Cut the Inties, maybe? Oh, I want the other Haywire Might. I'll cut a Ren. Force is pretty Gucci. Force is... I always find Force to be weird against the Leyline Scion decks. Because if they open on Leyline plus Scion, your Force doesn't do that much. Right, you can only kill the Leyline. So it's not as good. Ooh, now I have Leyline and they don't. I guess that's a good point. Yeah, they have Binding too. So it's a little bit better. If they like... If they have guild pack plus binding, your force is good. Maybe it's worth. It'd be nice to hold up binding, but I want to play the tap land. Leyline Scion and Lantern Control? No. Even Leyline Scion will not get me to play Lantern. Blue White Control, though. 100 gifted. That's the uh, that's the oil baron price for blue white control. This Ren's not even doing anything. I need to fetch land. It'd be really nice if I had some land. They're gonna tide miner this. I'm not even sure I care about that. It's funny you say Leyline Scion Murktide because <clears throat> that's basically what the domain zoo decks have become. Like if you look at the current domain domain zoo decks, it's just like counterspell iteration. It, it, it's basically just Murktide, right? They're no longer domain zoo decks, and that's what a lot of people have been doing with uh with like with the Leyline Scion brews. So people have already kind of been doing that. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. They're playing like one copy of Murktide most of the time. Most of those lists have one Murktide. I'll see if I can find one. It was all over the challenges this weekend. Nope, that's normal domain zoo. What about this one? Yeah. So this is what they look like. Where it's like, they have Ragavan. They have the, the, the domain package, Binding, Scion, Kavu, and then the rest of the deck is just Murktide. Expressive, Counterspell, Preordained, Force Bolt. That's it. Sanctifier on Vec. Um, sure. Man, this card's really good against Leyline, huh? Holy shit, I just realized something. I can't even Binding it because my Binding ability is red and black, right? How do I kill this? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How the hell do I kill this? Uh, chat? Any ideas? Give it flying? Yeah, I, I guess. Oh, I can give their creature flying? I don't know how I do that. I guess I can eventually, like, Shadow Spear trample over a little bit. Draco, too. Those are not good cards. Those are not good cards. Uh, this... Yeah, protection from literally anything. Can I turn it into an enchantment? Don't think I can. 
We just need to find Scion. We're chilling. Pew, 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 pew. Touche. Touche. Yeah, that doesn't even work because the creature is all colors. Nothing works against it. Um, I guess, like, non-black or red removal spells, right? So you can't even solitude this with my line. Okay, this flips. Tidebinder the ETB? I guess that would work, yeah. How the fuck do I get out of this? It appears that we have located the answer to Leyline Scion. <laughs> just make everything your opponent has be all colors, and you just can't ever block or kill this. It's just like it's just a two-two Scion. What is what is my plan? I don't I don't even have a plan. I guess I can besage them twice. I don't know. Try to cut them off colors, I guess. We need to find a Saga. Because the Saga can get a Shadow Spear. That's how we get around this. Let's just make a big trample thing. Yeah, Draco would be nice too. I should be going after White's Horses, I guess. I think. Go get back this. Well, now I'm going to go after this again. Do, do, do. Cast the Opal Chase there. <laughs> well, the problem is they just... They have the pro-black creature, right? So is the Oval Chase even that good here? I guess it does kind of check the other things, but so does Fable, right? This says, oh no, I don't have First Strike. I don't have First Strike because I don't have the Scion. Because if I had Scion, this would have First Strike anyways. But I, I need to find the Scion. Yeah, that's true. I guess I can just copy next turn. Deputy of Detention. Get Omnath back. All right, let's go to game three. Let's go to game three. Hmm. Anything in my sideboard that defeats a 2-2 creature. No? Alright, good to go. Run it back. Maybe I should play these Force of Vigors. Not sure. We'll just draw more signs this game. That's my plan. Put Inti back. I guess Inti does give Trample. What should we cut, though? Maybe the Wrens? Could do one Inti. Try that. Um, I mean, I keep. The sand's very good. Extremely good. Yeah, Valky's not great against Scion. If only Valky could blow up their, uh... If only Valky could blow up enchantments, then it'd be a little bit better. I was kind of hoping they had Leyland with this hand, because I wanted to pick your poison on turn two. I'm trying to think of what they could play on turn two that I would want to Binding versus... Like, I'd have to give up making a Construct on three. I mean, honestly, with Fable in hand, that's probably fine, where I can go turn two, don't play Saga, turn three, Saga, Fable, turn four, Binding plus Construct. I think I like that better. Yeah, because I want to Fable next turn anyways. This is probably a little bit better. And I get to hold up Binding this way. I wonder if there's ever a world this deck wants to cut Finale of Devastation so we can play Gigantha. I don't know if that's worth it. Finale is very good. All right, don't trick mind me, bro. I don't really need that. That is something I don't really need. They did shocks. So they have something. They can't cast Bowmasters. Probably have Binding. The Binding would make sense. But this lines up perfectly against Pick Your Poison, right? Next turn, I just go Pick Your Poison, activate, activate Saga. Yeah. I always forget. What happens if you if you Tide Binder the second chapter? I still haven't landed taps for Colorless, right? I think. Okay, they're not doing that anyways, but... Hmm... That is an interesting draw. Two, three, four, five. I can go pick your poison artifacts, go to combat, attack, make a treasure. Post-combat, pick your poison enchantment. Yeah, I like that. So we go Yusak and artifact. They don't get that ability, but it still taps for mana because it isn't an artifact. Right, yeah. So you still have the chapter one. You just so... If, there's, if they stifle the chapter two then I'm assuming I can't make a construct on the third chapter, I think is how that works. Okay, that's unfortunate. Now they've basically blanked my, my pick your poison on the enchantment. Huh. In that case, play this fetch main phase to get around Tidebinder. I guess I could also construct main phase. It's worse if they have Teferi, though. I don't know if they're a Teferi deck. 
I guess if they have Tef, they'll just bounce their Naked Binding. This line's not great into Bowmasters, because it's a 1-1 one -one token. Hopefully they just, like, tap out for Omnath here. Yeah, this is fine, because we do have the Binding. So we can go Token, Untap, Token, still Binding the Omnath. Token. Token. What are we getting off this? I guess Bayware might, yeah. Let me go here, get a basic. Let me go binding your Omnath. Hit for three, then post combat, kill the binding. All right, your turn. I mean, it's unfortunate that I couldn't deploy the other Saga that turn, but I'm pretty sure this is just better. Just putting a lot of shit into play. We can pick your poison to cover another Scion. Although, sacking a champion is kind of off the table because they have that, that binding that does nothing on it. Yeah, this is just game objects tribal. Ding. <laughs> I can hard gas ley line here. I don't know if it's beneficial, but I can do it. Okay. Good chance they have Solitude or something. I'm going to discard these two. I kind of don't want to play anything pre-combat because I'd much rather have them Solitude these creatures. So you know what? I'm just going to go to combat. If they Solitude me, whatever they Solitude me, it's fine. What? <laughs> the, the classic Ice Fang No Basics. Just the classic. You love to see it. All right, I attack. Yeah, because now we have six mana to just go Leyline Draco post combat. Are they going to Tide Binder my treasure token? I guess. Sure. Yeah, you got it, dude. Yeah, that's fine. They can't even trade. This thing doesn't have Death Touch. They have one basic. They can jump block. They definitely can jump block. So now that they've done this, I kind of want to go Finale, Asmo, play Cookbook, play Scion. You think we lay line? I would kind of rather just put two dudes into play, right? Because like this line just puts an Asmo and a Draco into play. I might not end up discarding the, the, the ley line to the Cookbook, but I, I just want to get it into play. Although I guess if they just held the Solitude, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that if they had Solitude, they would have played it that turn. So I don't think my read is Solitude. Seemed like a good Solitude turn. Bring to Light Supreme Verdict. I mean, we haven't seen Bring to Light yet. No idea if they're playing that. They could be. All right, they have Eldritch Evolution. Sure, I accept. Their deck is uh, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Wait, yo, chill. You don't have a Traxa, do you? Okay, we actually kind of lose now. What the fuck? What is their deck, dude? Holy shit. We can maybe time them out. <laughs> right, they're still just dead. All right, never mind. It's cool, but uh, you're still dead. All right, they have, they have chosen some cards. And now they have chosen to take lethal damage. All right. Saga. Yada yada. Let's do this. Green, red, white, blue. First strike. I guess their last card could be Force of Vigor. Would Force of Vigor be enough? No, because I got the treasure token. Yeah, I think Force of Vigor still wouldn't be enough. All right, I will deploy Zagoth Thryom. Now here's the question. What do we do on turn two? Uh, a lot of options. A lot of options. Even more options now. Against Spire Bluff, I think it's just Deploy Scion. It does cut me off of casting Finale, which is a little awkward, but... They can't counter it. They get, they get subtlety it, but who cares? Because I could definitely see you wanting the Valky in those kind of grindy matchups. Like, you're almost never going to go for Valky against the, the faster decks, and I agree it's not great against Leyline Scion. But I kind of still want it against, like, coffers and shit like that, you know? I guess I try to bait a counterspell with Cookbook. There's a chance they might counter this. We can slam Ren. Successfully jibated. The new Jace looking good. Uh, I mean, I... It's interesting for sure. It's one of those cards that I'm going to have to play a lot with before I kind of inform my opinion. But it does look interesting. 
I know that you can do cool stuff with Valky. Just, I don't know. If you think about it, right? Because you can't play the Jace in your first three turns. The best thing you can do with Jace is turn four Jace, plot Valky, turn five, cast Tibble, which you can already do with Bring the Light. That's not even that good in Pioneer already. Yeah, you can already do that if you want to. I'm going to play around Spell Pierce by doing this first. Probably use Scion, or Renin 6 rather. Get this back, play Scion. <laughs> Alright, they don't want to play anymore. Oh man. I hate that this is working. I really, really hate it. Alright, pick your poison against Murktide. Good card. Uh, they probably have Blood Moon, right? Maybe you want this shit. Force Bad. This stuff I think is not good. Maybe turn the Earth, but probably not. It's a little too narrow. Now, what the hell do we cut against Murktide? I'm almost wondering if they have pick your poison. Should I be... Is this maybe one of the few matchups that I want to be off the Leyline Scion plan? There's not a ton. I don't know, though. Because, like, the thing is, Leyline Scion is so good against Murktide. It just checks all of their Ragavans and Chandlers and such. Because I don't know what else we're cutting. If you want to bring in seven cards. I guess if they're blood mooding me, Ren 6 is... Ren 6 is not as good if they're mooding me. I could also cut Inti, I guess. The Needle can go. Needle's nonsense. Needle does nothing against Murktide. All right, maybe we keep the Leyline Scion plan. We cut like these. Trim a Fable, perhaps. Five, six. This is exactly enough. Something like that, maybe. Cut these seven. Do we need the second Haywire Might? We'll play, we'll play the third Fable. Fable is really good against Blood Moon. I don't know if we really need the second one can kind of just save the first one until they play the uh, the Blood Moon. The Sandy is fine. Not phenomenal, but it's okay. Yeah, Jace does, Jace does play kind of nice with counter spells. That is a good point. You like Jace on turn four, plot the Valky, hold up counter spell. Then the next turn you can play Valky for free while holding up counter spells. It also maybe means that you want to go back to playing stuff like Release to the Winds because you want to be a blue-black Valky deck anyways. I have to get a Stomping Ground here. Because I'm going to play Haywire Might, they're going to kill it, and then turn two I'm going to go Saga, Cookbook, Discard, play Asma off of this. So if I play Forest first, I can't play Saga and Asma next turn. Kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. I kind of forgot that Alteration was still a thing. I still have those cards. They can Finale for zero. Something tells me they probably don't have Asma on their deck. Ooh, nice draw. See, it's fine, though. We just discarded the cookbook. No, they're countering my cookbook. Rude. Anal. Opponent cast. What? I'm just saying the name of the card, bro. I'm just telling you the card they cast. Oobble draw. They did not have Blood Moon, which is good. I'm going to play this because they know about it. Alright, so they need two more removal spells. One for the token this turn, one for the token next turn. Betty Theft. Okay. Nice binding. Hmm. All right, let's make a token. Get a book. Can you like stop doing that? You wanna you wanna not do that? It does kind of suck that I can't play Sokka this turn. But I think I really have to try and uh, deploy a blocker for Ragavan. I'm keeping the leyline because there's a non-zero chance that I just cast the leyline this game. Stop. Alright, go. They can play Borrower. They only have one card in hand. I mean, we're low, but they don't have a lot left. I accept. We need to dodge Bolt, though. Bolt's probably the worst case scenario. Because not only do we not have a blocker for Ragavan, but we also lose the ability to kill Borrower. Yeah, that is basically a Bolt. So now we need another Asmo. 
Yep. Got a five here. Thanks. Didn't want to draw that anyways. See, this is when Ragavan does is nice to you. It's not always nice. That is another Asmo, but it also means that I cannot deploy the saga. Fuck. Maybe that just doesn't matter. Because the other option is go play Saga, discard Leyline, pop two food, go to 11, take five, go to six. Is that better than Forest, Finale for Asmo, make a food, kill Borrower, hold up Asmo to block at five? Man, I don't know what's better. It's really close. I mean, both lines are very similar, but it's getting the Borrower off of the battlefield indefinitely versus putting the Saga into play. And I think it's probably better to just get the Borrower off the battlefield. So let's do that. X is zero. I'm going to get the one from the graveyard because I would like to just draw more of them. And I think to play around Bolt, I'm going to play the other cookbook because if they Bolt the Asmo now, I could make another food in response. And I'm going to play around Tidebinder as well. I'm going to hold the third cookbook, though, because if I don't draw Daredevil, I may want to discard this. Expressive. That's not good. They found Channeler Bobble. Okay. Let's see if they keep the card on top. They put a Thundering Falls into the graveyard. So I think it is correct to end phase make a food. Because if they have Bolt on top, I mean, I guess I could just make two food upkeep. But okay. They're not shuffling, though. So they like the, they like the card on top. Honestly, my best draw is probably Daredevil. It's pretty good, too. Now, I guess the question becomes, do we discard the Saga, or do we play it and not attack? I think it's probably better to play it than just not attack. I mean, they're at 15, so there's some there's some interest in trying to get them dead. I think that's right. Yeah. Just play Saga Pass. If they kill the Asmo, we can pop the food. I can actually sack the book to pick up a creature and then discard that to the book if they have a removal spell and get back anywhere I might. Yeah, okay. I mean, ideally, I don't want to discard... I don't want to sack the book here, but if I have to, I have to. Okay. That's bad. It's very bad. We've been to Bobble. This game is really close. Yeah, the, the, this is the, the hidden mode of Cookbook. Four tap sack regrowth. Or raise dead, rather. We don't need to pop it here, because I can just discard whatever I draw. Funny enough, I think killing the Channeler is better than playing Fable this turn. I'm just going to do it now. And now I guess we can start Shadow Spearing them. We can go End Step Construct, Untap Construct, get Shadow Spear Equip. Again, hopefully draw Daredevil. Daredevil's the best possible. Hope they didn't find Dress Down. That's probably the worst case scenario. So that costs three mana. I mean, I'm not going to cast it this turn. I may hold that for Morktide, though. I mean, I could have gotten a graveyard thing there, but I think it's better to do this. Although this line is worse if they drew heat. I can get a little aggressive here. I'm going to hold on to the binding. Oh, they're just taking this? Okay, well, that's fine. Now we're chilling. Bing chilling. <laughs> okay, resolves. Did they just draw four Ragavans or something? Nice. Very, very nice. All right, cool. Two it out. Let's go. This might be the best one we've played so far. I mean, a small sample size, two matches, but this one's felt pretty good. Specifically just the idea of playing Urza Saga with the Scion Leyline stuff, because Scion just gives you so many so many extra keywords, and if you put a million keywords on a bunch of five fives, that's really good. It kind of makes you wonder what other what other Urza Saga decks can we put the Scion package into. Uh keep. So I think I'm supposed to keep the this is tough. Like this deck specifically, there's no pitch cards in my deck, but I do have Cookbook. 
So I think it's, pr but yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to put two into play. If they have the answer for the first one, it is what it is. Okay. They probably don't. They're playing Murktide. I mean, I probably just fire it off, right? Just do it main phase. Play around Spell Beers. See ya. They have another one? No, Channeler. Channeler? I hardly know her. Um, deploy this. Your turn. Opponent typed in chat said, let him cook. Oh, I'm cooking all right. You better let me cook, though. You know. Google Health Evers, too. All right, I'll, I'll do it off stream. All right, here, I'll Google it right now, just, just to appease you. It's PC. Can I, I'm assuming I can get it on Steam, right? Finale of Devastation. All right, let's do this. Let's make a homie. Let's make a people. What are you doing here? You got a dress down on your main deck? Four blue. What the shit is this? Oh, okay, sure. I don't care about that. That doesn't matter at all. So now we go here, get a basic. No, I should get stomping because I have the finale in hand. Uh, discard the ley line. Thanks for giving me asthma fuel. Thanks for the asthma fuel, by the way. Let's make a peepo. All right, Hell Divers Two. Check it out. There you go. I made a note. Okay, so what did we do last time against Merc Tide? Three, four, five. Six. I think that's what we did the last time. We'll try it again. I mean, I guess I keep. I think because I have Cookbook, I am going to keep the other Leyline in hand. Red Ban on. You got a Ragavan? You got a little Ragavan for me? a nice draw. Uh, I would like to deploy a cookbook. Your turn. Please. Mm, you know what I'm now realizing? I should have fetched Forest. Because <laughs> if I get Blood Moon, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I should have fetched Forest. Whoops. That was bad. That was uh, not recommended. It's okay. They just won't play Blood Moon. Nah, there's no shot they give us Painter. I thought that, I thought that for some random reason that Painter was like, in some I thought I thought Painter was in Brothers War Retro, but I've learned that it's not, thankfully, because we would have a we would have a five alarm fire in Timeless. I mean, we probably already do with Mana Drain, to be fair. Like, I can't imagine that that format can handle Mana Drain. Pick my poison. Kinda rude. Fine. Well now I could pick their poison. Uh untap. Yep. I could Asmo, but I think it's maybe better to Asmo next turn. What if I just go basic forest? You sack a flyer, saga pass. This line is still again bad if I have Blood Moon. But then next turn I can go Stomping Ground, Finale, play the other book, and maybe make two food. Which one's press the enemy? I don't know if I remember that one. Yeah, well, they have Blood Moon, we're fucked. To you, you instant return a spell or non-land permanent and opponent controls to its owner's hand. You may cast an instant or sorcery. Oh, it's an instant. That's kind of sick. I have not seen that yet. Or you just like bounce their chalice cast living end. That's kind of sick. Fable. Fable. All right, let's make a food now. So I wonder what the plan is here. Did we discard Fable? What if we just did an Asmo? What if we just made Construct tokens? Is that better? It's got to be better to make Constructs, right? Yeah, I think it is. To make a 4-4 Construct, which dodges Bolt. Does not dodge Heat, though. Unfortunate. Although, I don't know. Maybe there's an argument for resolving Finale while they're tapped out. Because now they can just hold up Counterspell next turn. Like, if their hand is Removal Spell Counterspell, they can go kill the Construct that I make hold up Counterspell. Looks like they're not doing that, though. Which is nice. Okay. 
It's a channeler. What's their last card? Sure. Guess we have to hope they don't find heat off this. If they put a card on top. I imagine the card they would put on top is heat, which is not great for me. Well, they just exiled Spire Bluff Canal, so now I'm confused. They can't heat until next turn. No, because they have the uh, the construct token, or the not construct token, but fable token. Okay. I mean, this is kind of fine. So now we just go make mana. I'm gonna get something to exile their graveyard because I don't want them. I think the way I lose this game is them playing Murktide. So I go get relic, pop relic. Use the two green mana, play Finale, Asmo. Yeah, okay, that works. Okay, so pop this. And then we go use this, done. Search, Asmo, get another book. Play Saga, play book. I mean, we don't even need to kill the channeler, right? Yeah, I'm just going to chill. I think I will make a food now, though, just to make a bigger construct. I guess this line is a little bit worse if they have explosives as their last card, but it's pretty good if they don't. I could have also killed the channeler main phase, but I kind of want to kill this. Yeah, this is the problem with not le with leaving the channeler is they get surveils. It's probably OK. I just wanted I just wanted to make sure they couldn't work to me. All right, we're three zero with this deck. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I mean, the, honestly, like what you're saying, Jimmy, I kind of resonate with that, and I think that's my biggest issue with it. Is yes, there are a lot of answers to Leyland Scion, but there are also decks that just like there are decks that just cannot beat the opening of Leyland Scion. You know, no matter what they do, or like if you just don't draw the out forehead, then there's just no chance. I do kind of sympathize with the fact that it does lead to a lot more non-games. And I think that is, you know, not great, right? It's definitely not great. We keep this, put back second Fable. All right, fair magic, no ley lines. Completely fair magic going on. I think we want to fetch for Stomping Ground in case I draw Finale. Yeah, this list has been feeling great, Benny. This one, this one has felt like the best one so far today. Although I guess this is only the second deck, so. You know, not a lot of competition, to be fair. I, I'm not comparing the package, or it can, I'm not comparing the deck to Hogak, but it's giving vibes of if you don't have your cyborg card, you just lose. You know, and that was what Hogak was. If you didn't have your cyborg card, you were just dead. Obviously, completely different decks. Not trying to tell you that they're the same deck, but I don't have to make a food here, do I? No, I don't. Daredevil would have been sick here. I would like to kill the Scion, but I have to discard a lot of cards to do that. I don't know, is that worth it? It might be. What do we discard? We probably discard Cookbook Foothills. I feel like it's worth it. I'm gonna go for it. Kind of a disaster if they have subtlety. Get the other book, play this. All right, discard this, kill Scion, hope to peel. I really just want to draw Daredevil. Snackbar was telling me there's a living end deck with some blue card from MKM. I don't know if it's the same one that it's that card that you're talking about. It's like bounce a card. You can cast a spell from your hand. Oh, LOTR. No, OK, OK. I thought, I thought you said it was from MKM, not LOTR. I see. I will deploy construct tokens. Yeah, I mean, that is kind of what people were talking about with Brief Scan before, so. Are they just hard casting Leyline? I kind of think they might be. So it's kind of the same vibes. Like, they're, there's, they're not really that different. I think we don't cookbook here. God, I would love to draw Daredevil. Okay. Let's make another token. I think we have to get Haywire Might for next turn. Not this turn, obviously. Do I want to attack them for six? Maybe I discard the Fable. Is that crazy? I just don't think this Fable is going to be relevant this game. I could be totally wrong on that, but I just, I don't see Fable being relevant. Land 4, I think, is more relevant than Fable. 
Again, just really want to draw a, uh, a Daredevil. Sure, so that kills Haywire Might. Yep. I mean, even if they have Scion, they don't have good blocks. Like, this doesn't even matter, right? <laughs> I just have two 5-5s. Five they have the chump block. Okay, yeah. Yeah, like, how do they win this game? They have to chump block. I'm just going to make more tokens. I'm just going to make as many, make them as big as possible. So they go to five. And I have three eight eights. We can just get, we can just get Shadow Spear next turn. Yeah, nice sign of Draco. Chump block my eight eight. Yeah, four four. You can have as many keywords as you want. Doesn't matter if your creature's that small. Not big enough. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. You shut up with a 4-4? Four, four? What do you think this is? Do I want any of these other cards against them? Definitely cutting Inties and the Needle. I could also see myself cutting Ren in this matchup. I just don't know what else is good against Sue. Against Moon's bad. Sage could be interesting as like a finale target that kills Leyline. Might also could be interesting. Could do Might for Ren. Seiju, Force, Reclamation Sage, all kind of reasonable. Maybe I do this. Let's try something like that. Is Fable better than Kabu? Uh, I like that Fable can utilize extra ley lines. And what's also nice is Fable flipped copying Scion's kind of sick. So I've been pretty happy with Fable. If you wanted to take the deck like in a more aggressive slant, I wouldn't hate playing. Uh, I wouldn't hate playing playing Kabu. If you wanted to be a little bit more aggressive, that is. I'm mulligan to six. Imagine not having the perfect ley line hand on seven. Couldn't be me. All right, do they have the binding, though, is the question. I guess even if they do, we have pick your poison, so it's like, whatever. Uh, what do we kill, is the question. I think we kill Ragavan. They're on a multi... They're, they have three cards. And also, playing the binding protects this against pick your poison. I'm gonna kill it now. They might have counter spells. Are they gonna force this? That would be insane. Because now if they sigh on me, I just make them second artifact. Let them have this. Besage you it later. Oh. They just don't have a second land. I see. Okay, well, uh, Kek by. Finale for Asmo. I'd much rather cut them off meta this turn. Or at least, like, beta binding. Really? Oh, okay. Well, if they're gonna sack that, then who cares? Uh, does this do anything? I mean, they named Saga, of course, but I don't care about it now. We have a pure modern event coming up. Pure Modern April 7th, which is just modern without the uh, supplemental products. If you're interested in playing, exclamation point pure in the chat for more information. I cut the surveil land last minute. It was it was the last cut. Maybe that was wrong. I could besage you here because I have a legendary creature, but I don't want to give them a land, right? Like, I guess I could besage you their ley line now. But... If they have land Scion, I can just besage you the ley line and then kill it with Asmo. So I don't I don't have to do that now. I can wait. Because they might feel pretty safe if they draw land. Just jam the Scion, yeah. I'm gonna go end step discard. Two cards in hand. I mean, we're kind of light on threats. Because they also have the Alpine Mood on Saga. I guess we're light on threats until we find our um, Scion. So now we go... Discard here. Besage you this. And then pop the Scion. I gotta get the Scion off the battlefield. But I'm not in the best position. Like, I don't have a lot going on here. I have two cards in hand still. Kinda wish I had a Surveil Land. Yeah, the deck you sent me for Pure Modern looked pretty sweet, Duncan. Daredevil away from winning. I'm not sure that Daredevil's good enough. I mean, our best draw is Scion, right? That's bad. It's bad if they have another Scion. Uh, I may have to discard that. I'm going to hold on to that. We just have to preach they don't have a second Scion. I think we're probably dead if they do. And they're at 10. If we can dodge Scion for a little bit, maybe it's, uh, I found Bolt. Bolt's kind of whatever, because we have more, more Asmo. <clears throat> we don't care too much about Bolt. That's pretty good. Cast that. Plus on... Ooh, I forgot that we had the Besaju. Maybe I should get back the Besaju this turn. Discard book, play Asmo. And then if they have binding for Ren and Six, then I, I have the Besaju in hand. 
I think I like that. Just don't play don't play my land this turn. Yeah. This look this is good, I think. So we make black. And then I just hold the Besage you in the cookbook in hand. So even if they find Scion, we can Besage you Ley Line, make food, kill Scion. So it's we kind of still have everything covered. It's been a good game. Oh, that's the best draw in the deck, folks. I'm trying to think of the best way to sequence this. Um, I guess we should attack first. Let's go to combat first. So I think I should... Yeah, that was kind of going to be my plan. Besaju. I should cast the cookbook first. I don't know if they play Spell Pierce, but they might. Okay. Besaju the Slay Line. Get back the Besaju pass. No. No. <laughs> the value. They've been to Halifen. Get back Besaju. Your turn. Kind of just vibing. Do they have more surveillance? Them going to six is kind of huge. Because now we have a two-turn clock. I guess we did anyways with the Ren. Um, annoying, but, you know, whatever. Uh, yep. I don't know why they're popping in now. Oh, I guess because they have a creature to play. Sure. This is kind of still okay, though. Because we have Ren fetch land. So we get this guy back. Make more food. Crack this. Get... Sacred Foundry. I, I'm going to keep the, the Triumph in the deck because I might want to draw it. Wish I had one more mana in play. Because then I could rebuy Asmo. Plus here, play Meyer Pass. Kind of have to hope they don't have a counter spell as their last card. Standard will change completely for RC. Convoke has good, good mana now. Yeah, I mean, you know, Convoke was already one of the best decks. It One of the issues with Convoke was that the mana was sketchy. Uh... Inspiring Vantage is a huge boon to the Convoke deck, and I'm, I'm sure I'll be I'm sure I'll be testing it for the RC. Well, the issue with playing the Oval Chase is they can kill it and then exile it, right? I guess if they do that, I can just rebuy. I can rebuy with with uh, Cookbook by discarding Foothills. Maybe I should have played my dude. Although I don't really care that much if the Ren goes to one. I do care if they have a counter spell for my Asmo, though. That's bad. Uh, yeah, like that's fine, as long as they don't have a counter spell in their hand. So we get back this. Maybe I should have played the devil that turn. Okay, we do this. Oh, well, now we don't care if they have a counter spell. <laughs> Never mind. I no longer care. I kind of hope they have counter spells as their last card. And honestly, it's pretty likely they have counter spell. Because they've had a card in hand that they haven't, been, they haven't cast the whole game. So, good chance they have counter spell here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We got bad news for you, opponent. Not good enough. Bad news for you, folks. I'm going to save the last cookbook in case they have E on one. Oh, they don't want to play anymore. How are we fucking 4-0 playing for a trophy with this deck? I've only lost one game. I hate it here. I think this hand's good. I mean, we have domain plus these two, so I know we don't have play line. But it's okay. Yep. Okay. Noted. Geological appraiser combo in pure modern. Mm, probably okay. Grixis reanimator. I mean, it's probably just Esper with this for domain purposes. It's probably not that bad. This matchup has to be atrocious for us, right? Does that do anything? But they, they got back binding. And I guess we just play Scion. If they binding my Scion, I can binding their binding. What do you think about Appraiser and Pioneer? Uh, unplayable. What's my plan here? You ever just pithing Needle Bristlebrand? What a binding the Fable, I think. Although, that's bad because they have their own binding. Well, not really, though, because I can just hold up a Seiju. This is going to get weird. This is going to get really weird. Where if they if they binding my binding to get back Fable, I'm gonna besage you their binding. Uh, it's just, it's a mess. It's just an absolute mess. I don't want to think about it. I bought a bunch of Japanese cards that I could so I could play that deck, and now they're all gone. 
yeah, I just have like an entire page of my binder that's just random Japanese split cards and Shepard monitors. Never get to play those bad boys again. They will they will forever stay in these heavy play sleeves. Because one day, one day they will come back. I can assure you. I can guarantee it. Just play him in Legacy. I could play him in Legacy, yeah. Or commence the endgame for the mirror deck. We did get scammed. Surely they don't have a track in hand, right? Okay, they don't. So we know they have Binding. I kind of want to top deck another Ley Line here. Guild Pact. Definitely not that. Because uh, that's just going to get Grief Ephemerated. All right, I'm going to cast the Needle here to make them think that I didn't draw a spell. Because there's a chance that they... There's a chance they target the Archaeologist with their uh, with their Ephemerate if they think that I didn't draw a spell. Besage you to cast Asmo. I kind of have to save the Besage you for a Ley Line, though. Because I'm just not winning this game without Scion is the issue. I know it's a discard, but I just, I need the Scion to win. Like, I have no pressure, you know? Like, what's the scenario where I go land, Beseju, kill a random land, play Asmo, right? They just go binding, kill Scion. I have no food to Asmo to kill anything. Like, I can kill the Grief, I guess, uh, next turn, but I can't even kill it this turn. I have no, I have no cards left in hand. So, I just don't think it's that good. We got Tainted Indulgence. Shed Bowmasters. That's not good. Uh, Alright, even. I'm dead. I no longer want to participate. Okay, Lantern Me. Relic Me. Haywire Might. Probably Beseju. Turn the Earth. Pick your Poison. Cut all of these. We don't have time for Fable against them. This is 60. Uh, Needle's pretty bad. I guess we can play maybe Force of Vigor against them. Play one Fable, I guess. It's probably okay to play one Fable, right? <coughs> Actually, no, let's play an Inti. Let's play one Inti. I still don't think I want Force of Vigor. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I think most of this Jason C is just like, we're just memeing, you know? Right right now, Modern is in a spot where, like, it's... These are clearly not the best things to be doing. Like, I, I, I'm not going to tell you that this is the best tech to be playing. But it, we're just having a good time, you know? And that's fine. We're just we're just chilling. We're just being chilling. This is kind of the perfect time for Modern, where we're going to have a rotation in three months. And, you know, people are just going to... They're just going to brew and have some... They're just going to have fun until the, the shit hits the fan, rather. Because the format is going to look a lot different in three months, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, we're also going to be playing some Pioneer. Like, this is kind of the weird, I guess, in-between time where Standard Season just ended and Pioneer Season hasn't quite started yet. So we have this kind of lull period where, you know, not a lot else to do. We don't want to start working on Pioneer till the season comes, till it gets closer to this season. And, you know, we get some, just having fun. Just having a good time. Vibing, some would say. I think drawing that's kind of awkward. Yeah, we are going to make Pioneer Proft. I kind of already built one. We're going to be playing, um, we're going to be playing a Grixis deck for Sir Eccles this week. It's Grixis Proft. I saw the Cave Dan 5 owed with Blue Black, which was basically just the standard deck with Treasure Cruise, Thoughtseize, Fatal Push. They discarded Ephemerate. All right, who would win? One entire Gorio's Vengeance Graveyard deck or one lowly Soul Guide Lantern? Right, I would like to make a construct. I would like to construct a device that wins the game. I would also like to construct another device that wins the game. Uh, Relic of Pro Genitals. I'm actually not even going to deploy the Shadow Spear. Because <laughs> I think there's a chance they go end step. Uh, they go end step binding on, on one of my artifacts. Untap, do the thing. I'm going to play this super safe. Super safe. Because we can present lethal next turn anyways. Right, 4, 10. I guess not quite. I guess we're a little short. Yeah, I've been told that Waste Knot's pretty good in Pioneer right now. I'll play that a little bit when the season starts. I mean, I kind of still assume it's just uh, 
not quite dual decks, Phoenix versus Vampires, but pretty damn close. That's my assumption based on what I've seen on, you know, Goldfish results and such. Sure. I'm okay with that, considering that I can just make two more Construct tokens. Hogak versus Neoform. Instead, it's just dual decks, Leyline versus Leyline. It's kind of where we're at. I will fetch now. Go Shadow Spear. I don't know if they play Wraths, but I'm still not going to main phase Construct, just in case. And also go Shields down on Relic. Although I guess deploying the Shadow Spear is bad if they now EE for one. But I'm not sure they can afford to EE for one. If they have that, they probably have to do it on zero. Atraxa, jump scare. Atraxa in the graveyard. Ooh, you know what I'm now thinking? I can kind of get punked here if I make a construct. Okay, well now I can't get punked. Uh, what is their plan? They can't binding. What is their plan? Okay, that resolves. I mean, I have Shadow Spear, so, you know. They don't have five types, so they can't binding. Confused. I guess they could have Solitude. I don't know if their deck plays Solitude, but they, that's what they could have. If not, I'm pretty sure they just don't have any outs. Should have Relict, but who cares? I can't be bothered. I mean, do I even need to make a third Construct? No. Let's just not. Uh, book, whip, combat. The thing about making a construct there is if I make a construct and they like have block solitude, I'm tapped out, which means I can't lantern and relic. <clears throat> all right, chat, game three. Game three for a trophy. Let's do it. I believe, all right? I believe. Any believers in chat? If you believe, type a one in the chat right now or one in the comment section if you're watching us on YouTube. I believe. All right, I believe. Uh, it's a little awkward that I don't have a sideboard card. God, Saga's a sideboard card. Yeah, but I have to play it on turn one. And then I just have no threats. Because Saga's my only threat right now is the issue. Uh, I think I'm still keeping. What I like about this hand is it's very good if they have Grief Scam. That's why I like this hand. It does kind of slap, right? It's what we like to call a bop. It is nice. I mean, I can hold up Binding either way. I'm just, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go Foothills Pass. I think that Binding is good enough. I think it's fine. Maybe I'm coping, but I think it's fine. Hmm. Maybe I don't deploy Cyan on two. Okay. Well, now I definitely don't deploy Cyan on two. They could have a Binding for the Relic. Be kind of annoying. They're not playing Force of Vigor, are they? I was like, there's no shot they're playing Force of Vigor. Drawing the Relic is huge there. Because now we get to hold up Relic and Binding. Well, now if they have to, if they want to march the Relic, they have to pitch. They're going to Binding now. Huh. So they're trying to high roll the attracts on top. But what I kind of want to do, I kind of want to relic, like tap the relic and then binding the binding. I know I'm still a little bit fucked to get if they find exactly Atraxa, but I'm going to be fucked if they find Atraxa anyways. So I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so we let the binding resolve. We let this happen. Please don't hit Atraxa. Surely they don't top Atraxa here. There's no way. Okay, well, if you're thinking they don't have Atraxa, there's no way they would think about it. Guess we'll do this now. It doesn't really change much. I'm going to do it anyways. Okay. So how likely is it we get Gorios this turn? I guess they would need Surveil Land plus Find Fatty on top plus Gorios. Which, like, if they have that, so be it, right? I guess they can Thought Seize themselves. So that bounces my... Ooh. They're bouncing Saga. Interesting. Kind of happy with that, because now I can just go... Wow. So now we deploy Saga, binding Teferi, hold up the Relic. Is it even worth binding the, binding the Teferi? Maybe it's not. I could have tapped out for Scion there, but the issue with tapping out for Scion is if they go fetch land, 
into Tainted Indulgence plus Atraxic Oreos, then I don't have Mana to pop the Relic. And they have an extra card in the graveyard. They pitch Goryos. So now we lose our Scion. Which is, like, annoying, but we have the Saga, so is it even that bad? I guess it is if they also have Pick Your Poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if they have Pick Your Poison at this point, I could just sack this. And that's kind of fine. What's our best draw here? Probably another Scion. It's pretty good, too, I think. I guess the question is, is it better than a Construct token? I mean, I think so, because they have the Ephemerate, right? It has to be. Actually, it's awkward. Wait, no, because I can't play the cookbook, right? Because I have to hold up the Relic. Like, if I go Finale, I guess I could just not search. But if I'm not searching, I think I'd rather just make a Construct, right? I'm pretty sure at that point, Construct is better than just having an Asmo in play. Well, not maybe it's not, because then I can get a cookbook off this. God, this is close. I kind of think, I kind of think constructs are better, right? If I'm not searching, it's just a two mana three three, which construct is basically that anyways, right? It's kind of the same thing. I think I like this. Sure. Finale for twelve divine scion. I, we're a little bit, we're a little ways away from that. We are a ways away from that. If they weren't griefing me, you'd make a construct. Right, yeah. Uh, I guess that's a good point, yeah. If they didn't have the ephemerate, I probably still would make a construct. But it's you see what I'm saying? It's only close because they we know that they they we're losing the finale, right? If I don't cast it this turn, we're losing it hundred percent. That's why it's close. So, we're tapping out here. We could get punked if they have, you know, if they have it all, basically. But it is what it is. Can't. I gotta make my constructs. Oh, that's interesting. Um, definitely making a second construct. And go for the line of casting finale. Well, the construct is more power on the battlefield. That's the point. I could play it super duper safe and get lantern. Or I could just get cookbook, play Beseju, hit for four pass. I think I like that. They clearly don't have an answer to the Relic. They would have answered it by now. Just chill. We can discard what we draw and play the Asmo next turn. Attracts a hard guest. I mean, they do have five lands. I guess we are getting to that point. That is a good point. I didn't think about that. Attracts a hard cast could be sketchy if they're holding it in hand. That might be their plan, honestly. I just want to draw Daredevil here, I think. I mean, Scion's the actual best draw, but Daredevil wouldn't be too bad. So, discard, make food. Cast this. Playbook. Yeah, get book, playbook. Attack with two sixes, six sixes. They block one, go to four. We actually have a tracks of beat, right? No, there's no surveillance. I had one, but I decided to cut it, which maybe that was a bad idea. Yeah, funny enough, we have a tracks of beat because we can just fight. We can use Asmo to fight whatever they block. Like, fight my own creature. All right. Yeah, land attracts so we have beat. Oh! Clenching, Dude, clenching, Dude, clenching, clenching. Okay. What's the plan here? Bounce a construct. Sure, I guess that's kind of the same thing. Is there anything I can do about that? Not really. Okay, that resolves. So that's probably going to kill Asmo, I guess? I guess they can binding the binding that's under the other Teferi, then use the new Teferi to bounce a construct. Okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess we still have the relic, right? Hold. Oh, this is so intense. I don't. I want to look away. Hold, please hold, please hold. I've never been so invested in a game in my life. <laughs> I don't know why I want to win this so bad, but I do. They're. Bouncing the Binding. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. That's a cool line. That is a cool line. Because then they could just play the Binding again and get deeper, right? Yeah, now they Binding, kill the Binding, Teferi Bounce. Just like, it's just drawing them more cards. That's a sick line. Funny enough, if they go for, if they go for Tef Bounce Construct, I can just have the Asmo fight the Construct. I might do that. <clears throat> 
Okay. Well, that doesn't matter because we can just kill the archaeologist. So that shouldn't matter too much. They chose Tainted Indulgence. So we know they still have a binding in hand. I feel like this is still not good enough, right? Like, the best they can do is binding, kill a dude, and just untap, draw, discard whatever I draw, kill this, have two lethal attackers. They would need, like, double solitude or something. They gave me the GGs. Let's go! You absolutely love to see it. All right, now you can spam Bog. 5-0 with Scion Asthma. I mean, I don't know what you want me to tell you, folks. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, that went pretty well. Dex perfect, would not change anything. Although, probably would play the fourth Daredevil over the third Fable. Um, yeah, I feel like this should not be working, but it is, and I'm having a good time. So if you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment. Be sure to let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, YouTube.